Gait is the perfect representation of optimal human movement. It's kind of what we were designed to do and we do it super well and we know how it works perfectly. So we can notice and see when it kind of gets out of whack and compensations come into place. If we're trying to extract maximal performance from an athlete, if we interrupt the gait cycle, then what we're really doing is we're putting a human in, in a position where they're going to have to compensate, which the reason why we're learning this is because if you train strength athletes, I would guess 99 out of 100 athletes will have the compensations and the same ones as well. So we kind of need to learn them. at some point if we all train, I'm sure we've all gone for a walk and felt like our back season or our glutes are seizing, et cetera. It just don't, it's just not good. You walk in the dog and it's a hassle. You know, it doesn't feel great. It feels concentrically driven like it's a concentric exercise and muscles are getting pumped, et cetera. That's because things aren't working properly. And it's so common in strength training and it's because the same compensation strategies happen. So basically the reason why we need to know gait is because if we're trying to restore someone's myofascial system and get them to have like myofascial homeostasis, then we need to understand the gait cycle because if they're not in that position to have an optimal gait, we've got compensation strategies.